it requires the virtual asset service providers to be responsible for the transactions that are happening on their platform. So they cannot act like Tinder and say, oh, we just brought just two different individuals together, but then there is some kind of a disease, so it's not us, you know, we just bring them together. This is not how this should function. It's more like being responsible to overlook with coaching or like doing a driver's license certification that when you drive your car in Riga as of today, you have a trust that whoever drives on the street as well has at least went across some kind of an education and a certification qualification that you don't freak out and you don't panic while driving a car. Does this mean that while driving your car everything is safe? Absolutely no. Do we still have accidents? Yes. Would we have more accidents when we wouldn't have a driver's license education? Most likely yes. And the Mika, from my perspective, very subjectively, is like a pan-European driver's license regulation for virtual asset service providers or uh, CASPs, so crypto asset service providers, uh, in order to obey like a common standard.